Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show you 2024 Yamaha Tracer 9 GT plus first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. 2024 Yamaha Tracer 9 GT Plus Yamaha Motor USA officially unveiled the 2024 Tracer 9 GT Plus for the American market. It's the newest halo bike in Yamaha's sport touring lineup, boasting features including adaptive cruise control, radar link unified brake system, a semi-active KYB suspension, a 6-axis inertial measurement unit AMU, that works with its integrated ride modes, and more. After its big reveal overseas in 2022, we knew it was just a matter of time that Yamaha's technologically enhanced Tracer 9 GT Plus would make its way to our shores, or at least we hoped. Well, it's almost a year later and, sure enough, the bike that has been previously available in Europe is now up for grabs in the US, Yamaha has pulled the covers off the new 2024 Tracer 9 GT Plus, crowned as its new sport touring flagship. That title is due in large part to the raft of updates bestowed on the new model, including an array of rider aids and tech advances like adaptive cruise control and a radar-linked brake system, along with semi-active suspension, integrated riding modes, and new smartphone connectivity. From a consumer standpoint, it makes the Tracer 9 GT Plus the least expensive motorcycle yet to get radar-assisted cruise control and safety systems. Let's talk about the engine first. The 2024 Tracer 9 GT Plus is powered by Yamaha's liquid-cooled, dual-overhead cam, 890 cubic centimeters, cross-plane crankshaft triple, CP3, engine. Bore and stroke are 78.0 mm by 62.1 mm. It has a six-speed gearbox, an assist and slipper clutch, and an up-and-down quickshifter. To be fair, the Tracer 9 GT already got a pretty hefty overhaul back in 2021, when Yamaha revamped the Tracer 900 GT and rolled it out in 2021 as an all-new model, giving it semi-active suspension, a new IMU-based electronics package, and more sophisticated electronic engine management to go along with the larger 890 cubic centimeters CP3 engine and new aluminum frame shared with the MT-09. Those major updates carry over to the 2024 model, but Yamaha has refined the package even more this year. Suspension consists of a 41mm KYB inverted front fork and a KYB monoshock, both with electronic adjustability using KYB's Actomatic Damper System. This semi-active suspension takes data from the IMU and uses it to adjust the suspension on the fly according to your present riding conditions. It provides 5.1 inches of suspension travel in front, and 5.4 inches of suspension travel in the rear. The 2024 Yamaha Tracer 9 GT Plus utilizes Team Blue's new radar-linked unified brake system. The millimeter wave radar that's now an integral part of the Tracer 9 GT Plus, along with the 6-axis IMU, provide data to simultaneously adjust both front and rear brake bias and suspension qualities according to what the sensors on your bike are detecting at the time. If riders turn on the brake control BC, feature, that's the only time that the system will provide braking assistance, according to Yamaha. The company is quick to state that it is not a collision avoidance system. It's also worth noting that turning on BC also activates cornering brake control, which automatically adjusts braking force to inhibit tire slippage when the machine is leaned over. What about the mechanical components of Yamaha's braking system on the 2024 Tracer 9 GT Plus? Up front, you get a pair of 298mm hydraulic brake discs, and in the rear, you get a single 267mm hydraulic brake disc. ABS comes standard at both ends, but you probably expected that, given all the other tech that's present on this bike. Wheelbase on the 2024 Yamaha Tracer 9 GT Plus is 59.1 inches. Seat height adjusts between 32.3 inches and 32.9 inches natively on the bike. Rake is 25.0 degrees, and trail is 4.3 inches. 